How is everybody doing? We're going to take a look at Led Zeppelin on vinyl. This is my vinyl collection of Led Zeppelin um, albums. Led Zeppelin are probably one of the most reverend um, rock, heavy rock bands of the last 50 years. Um, they were a massive influence on um, rock musicians and also the um, bands that came after in the early 80s and even the 90s. Um, I got into Zeppelin around 1989. I think I bought Robert Plant's Now and Zen. <laughs> and um, it all started from there. So yeah, I'm into them over 30 years, so uh, let's check out the collection right now. So the whole thing begins with the debut from 1969. Um, Led Zeppelin were signed to Atlantic. Um, very, very simple black and white cover with the um, Led Zeppelin in kind of an orange colour. Um, this has appeared in different colours, I think blue and purple and stuff like that. A uh, great photograph of a burning Zeppelin. Um, floating to earth. Um, it's a good debut. Um, some great guitar work on it from Jimmy Page. And uh, John Bonham's drums are something new in the rock world um, kind of a cross between Keith Moon maybe and Ginger Baker but um, loud and uh, time keeping like a clock Plant's vocal on this is um, soulful to say the least um, I kind of as I got older I kind of got tired of the, um, the kind of high pitched whining it kind of irritated me sometimes and of course John Paul Jones on bass organ, a uh, very talented guy. Um, some good tracks on this, Good Times, Bad Times. It's a great solo on that. Um, Babe, I'm Gonna Leave You, kind of acoustic. It gets very heavy. You Shook Me, it's a Willie Dixon blues. Days and Confused. Um, that became a big long concert favourite. Your Time Is Gonna Come. Uh, I was never really mad on that. It sounds very of its time. Black Mountain Side, that's nice. Kind of instrumental with um, some nice percussion. An acoustic guitar from Jimmy. Communication Breakdown. It's almost like a punk rock track. And then I Can't Quit You Baby. It's another Willie Dixon track. And how many more times? Um, this is every issue that I bought, let's say. I think I bought this in 1989. Still in immaculate condition. Um, yeah, I don't have any originals or anything like that. Next up is Led Zeppelin, two, very imaginative, a very imaginative title. Um, this is from nineteen sixty-nine, also. Um, Eightfold. Um, all their names written across on the pillars. Um, nothing on the back of the sleeve, so you kind of have to guess. Again, I bought this in '89, so it's um, a generic repress vinyl. It's quite thin, actually, but they do sound good. You know, I must. Yeah, they're they're quite good. Um, this one has the blockbusting whole lot of love. Probably one of the most copied riffs of all time. Um, what is and what should never be. I love this. When I heard this back then it was kind of psychedelic and the phaser on the vocals. Uh, great lemon song. It's another heavy, heavy blues track. And thank you. Yeah, that kind of um, is kind of kind of epic I guess, it was kind of the start of the slow epic type songs. 
Heartbreaker is great, a great um, guitar solo in the middle. Living Love and Maid. Uh, I'm never really mad about that. It reminds me of other metal bands from the time. Ramble On. Mm, yeah, Ramble On is, good. is a good, good acoustic track. Moby Dick. Yeah, I love Moby Dick. Drums are great on that. And Bring It On Home. Some more blues. They were really into their blues, weren't they? Led Zeppelin 3. Now we're getting imaginative. It was released in 1970. Um, this is a very, very influential album uh, for more reasons than one. Um, here we have a fantastic gatefold with all these little shapes on it. I remember I also bought this back in '89. Uh, just a repress. I was amazed looking at all that kind of stuff. Um, plus, you got this little wheel that you turn. Oh, look at that. I mean, you know, a lot of people like downloading music and stuff, but no, I'm never going to get on that bandwagon. I love this. It's different every time. It's infinite. It's great. What a novelty. Um, back is just the band. Looks slapped together. Um, this has got um, Immigrant Song on it, and that starts off with some clatter. Friends is very good as well, Celebration Day, and then The Majestic Since I've Been Loving You. Uh, minor Blues, and it just some of Bonham's best drumming. Out on the Tiles, Gallows Pole, kind of acoustic rock, Tangerine, that's a, another acoustic track. Nice little track. Um, that's the way, and then Bron Yar Stomp. Um, this album, yeah, was cited as their kind of acoustic album. Um, it, good stuff in it, though, you know. Hats off to Roy Harper, another um, kind of Delta Blues track, yeah. So, um, yeah, good album. Um, again, the uh, generic Atlantic. Green, white, and gold. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, good album. Um, you know, it's one of the essential Led Zeppelin albums. You know, without a doubt. And uh, every fan should have it. And then there was Led Zeppelin Four. This is classed as an epic, one of the greatest rock albums of all time. Again. Gatefold, um, great artwork. Somebody climbing a mountain to meet the man with the uh, light. Um, back is just a derelict house, and you can just see out into uh, suburbia. Um, Yeah, this is for you. Uh, Black Dog, Rock and Roll. Heavy stuff there, you know. Battle of Evermore. Um, I think Sandy Denny sings on that. Uh, and of course, Stairway to Heaven. One of the greatest rock songs ever committed to tape. There's the uh, Atlantic. Um, label and you also have the um, symbols on this yeah I just had to show you that up close I think that was a nice little touch very 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 cool side two continues with Misty Mountain Hop um, some great roads on that from John Paul Jones yeah he was cool four sticks going to California it's another kind of a Acoustic track, and then when the levee breaks, uh, which has got probably the most sampled signature drums ever. It's a cracker. Try it. You might like it. Yeah. So Led Zeppelin Four. Um, again, even if you're not into Zeppelin, everybody probably owns this album. So in 1973, Houses of the Holy rolled out. Um, 
band were very big in the States at the time. Uh, they were touring there a lot. Um, this is the famous cover. Um, it was shot, um, I think, in the Joints Causeway in Antrim. Um, I don't know, OB around the album, I still kept mine. Um, again, I bought this probably back in 1989. That's another gatefold. Mm, I was always intrigued by this. It's a bit strange. Um, in the back has uh, yeah. four lemon. It's kind of um, of its time, these little girls crawling up to be sacrificed or something. I'm not sure. Yeah, they've been drawn to something. Mm. All very, very psychedelic. Uh, in a sleeve. This is. Um, song remains the same. It's a great track and the rain song, one of my favorites. It's got a nice orchestra on there as well. Um, Over the hills and far away, that's another good one. And the crunch. <laughs> uh, James Brown. Uh, James Brown um, parody, I think. Dancing Days. Jamaica. Oh yeah, that's irritating to say the least. <laughs> I, 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 some people get the joke. I, Jamaica. I was never really into it. Um, baby, please don't go. Uh, um, no Quarter. That is uh, an absolutely fantastic Led Zeppelin song. And one of my favourites. I just love the um, grand piano and the um, Sent bass on it and the um, ah, it's just mesmerizing, absolutely. And then it ends with the ocean, yeah. Another track I'm not really too keen on. Yeah. And there you go, the Atlantic generic label. Uh, this would be their last album on uh, that label, um, yeah. So, all in all, it's still it's worth a buying for um, no quarter. No Quarter is an amazing song and I absolutely love it. Physical Graffiti was released in 1975. Um, this album was recorded um, earlier than that and it was kind of, it had a long fruition. Some brown stones from New York. Um, it's a double, but um, it's just got a special die cut sleeve. These windows, very nice. And then there's an over. Um, this is a great album. Uh, I mean, it's got a lot of stuff on it. Some great scope. The material is great. Um, The, um, the best rosette, and this is um, released on the Swan Song label. That was their own label. Yeah. What you have here is um, custard pie. The Rover in my time of dying. Um, Houses of the Holy. Trampled underfoot, and then the majestic cashmere. That's a long belter. Um, in the light, uh, Bran Your R. It's a lovely little acoustic piece. Down by the seaside, I always like that as well. And Ten Years Gone, I loved Ten Years Gone. Yeah. Um, night Flight, the Wanton Song. Yeah, I like the Wanton Song. Boogie with Stu. Black Country Woman and Sick Again. Yeah, this is a great album. There's great guitar on this. It's a little, it's, it's a bit more discreet than the other albums, you know. Um, Page was a master of overdubbing, and uh, yeah, there's some fire in this. 
It's a great album. And uh, one of their best, you know, the dogs. It's it's kind of more mature Zeppelin. Um, the stuff is the music is more mature. Um, one of the dogs. And uh, now Zeppelin are a pretty serious uh, band. Um, you know, they've got a, 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 a serious fan base as well. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't claim to be a Zeppelin expert. I've got a lot of Zeppelin books and stuff like that. But, um, you know, they're a great, great band. Presence was released in 1976. Um, this, again, is Mature Zepp. Um, you've got the obelisk <laughs> superimposed on the photographs. Um, yeah, some family on holidays in the Med somewhere. Uh, could be sort of France. Um, I think this sleeve was done was by hypnosis, the people that did some of the Pink Floyd stuff. Uh, again, this is um, a reissue I bought, I think, around 1990. Um, there's no inner sleeve in here. There should be with some more pictures, but there's nothing in this, yeah, unfortunately. And um, we've just got the Swan Song label again. Um, yeah, it's it's a it's, it's a good album. I like um, Achilles, Achilles, Last Stand. That's a great track. Great drums. Fire Life, Royal Orleans. Um, side two has uh, Nobody's Fault but Mine. Candy Store Rock. Hot's on for nowhere and T for one. T for one is kind of minor blues again. Reminds you of early Fleetwood Mac, Peter Green. A um, little bit like um, since I've been loving you, but not half as cool as that track. And now the song remains the same. This album was released in 1976, along with a movie of the same title. Um, it was a big long movie concert. Um, footage came from. Madison Square Garden, 1973. So it's kind of a throwback, really. Um, I think uh, Plant uh, had a broken leg at this stage or something. He was involved in a car crash. Um, this is um, a double. Man, it's... Um, a big one. <laughs> It's been um, remastered on DVD and stuff like that. A lot of it is fantasy, some of the uh, real life scenes. Um, on here you've got um, Rock and Roll, Celebration Day, the song remains the same, Rain Song, Days and Confused. Is on side two, takes up the whole side. Side three, no quarter. Stairway to heaven. Side four, Moby Dick, a whole lot of love. The songs are very long on this. Um, yeah. But, um, again, one song. I don't remember buying this. Um, I'm sure somebody lent it to me and I never gave it back. Now I could be wrong, I can't remember, but I, I remember borrowing it off somebody back in the day. Oh, I love that. And uh, taping it onto, um, it wouldn't fit onto a 90, I think it had to go into a 100 or something. <laughs> it's a long one. Um, I wonder if did I buy it again after, I just can't remember. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know, I can't remember. Well, I don't really remember it, so uh, I'm going to hang on to it, um, so yeah, keep it. So the final Led Zeppelin album of the 70s and uh, the final Led Zeppelin album released in uh, John Bonham's lifetime it was called In Through the Outdoor. And this came in a brown paper bag. You know, um, they're all good albums too. 
It's crazy really. Yeah. Um, very simple. Um, in the evening. I also thought that was a bit repetitive. I, I'm not really a fan of this album, I'll be totally honest. Southbound Sorry is. Um, Swat is. Fool in the Rain. A bit repetitive. Hot Dog. It's actually good. I think that's quite funny. Kind of a country track. Carousel. Ambra. That goes on and on and on. And All My Love. I was never mad about that either. And I'm Gonna Crawl. I prefer that one. But that's, uh, this was recorded in um, Polar Studios. And if you're a fan of ABBA and all things Swedish, you'll know that ABBA built um, Polar Studios in Stockholm. Um, it had some of the best recording uh, equipment in the world, I think, at the time. Um, ABBA albums sounded good. Engineering was well done. Um, there was a few um, album sleeves came with this as well. You, you know, you kind of was like a, a, luck, a lucky dip which one you got, I think. Yeah. Like, um, yeah, no, not one of my favourite Zeppelin albums. I, 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 don't, I don't really listen to it that much. Um, Every issue. Um, so yeah, it's as old as the hills, but uh, yeah. But again, if you're a collector, it's essential. You must have it. So finally, Coda was released in 1982. Um, the project was overlooked by Jimmy Page. Um, it was kind of a bookend, really. Um, there was only eight tracks on it. Um, and they come from different area, uh, periods in the band's um, career. Um, there's some nice photographs in it. Um, I think this is um, Zeppelin at Nedport, 79. Yeah. Again, small song. Um, the tracks, we're going to groove. That's a Benny King track. Um, that was from 1969. Um, I think um, Page did some um, he bought, he beefed it up I think with a sub Octavider uh, before the album was released. Poor Tom that's from 1970. Um, that's an outtake. I Can't Quit You Baby. That's um was a song for a rehearsal at Royal Albert Hall, London. Um, Walter's Walk, that was recorded in 72. Obviously during the um, House of the Holy Sessions. Ozone Baby, that was recorded in uh, Polar, 78. That's an outtake from In Through the Outdoor, Darlene. Again, that's from 1978. Um, Bonzo's Montreux. Um, that was recorded in 1976 in Mountain Studios. Mountain Studios was eventually bought by Queen. Um, and then Wearing and Tearing. This was um, from 78. Another outtake from the very last album in Three Outdoor. Yeah, so again, um, this one is, like I said, it's worth having. Um, and um, the deluxe edition that came out on CD recently is actually good because it's got extra pieces of an orchestra and stuff like that. So yeah, worth checking out. So Zeppelin kind of faded. Um, 
in the 80s, they weren't forgotten. I mean, they reunited, played um, a couple of songs, you know, in the Live Aid gig. Uh, Phil Collins played drums with them. It was the um, first time I think they were back together um, since John Bonham had died. Um, Plant had a solo career. Not a very commercial one though, you know, the, the albums aren't very commercial. Um, Jimmy Page was also doing stuff with other people. I think he had a band called The Firm around that time. But um, in 1990, all of a sudden there was just this kind of huge reprisal and Zeppelin were kind of bigger than ever. And then um, Remasters was born. So what you have with Remasters is Jimmy Page took the um, the whole catalogue because he was unhappy with the um, Atlantic CDs that came out in the late 80s. So he wanted to remaster them properly using um, the latest technology to, to you know to quieten the background noises and make the tracks better. So um, what you have really is an anthology. It's a six LP set. I bought it on CD in 1991 um, but there's a few oddities on here as well um, all out of love heartbreaker communication breakdown baby I'm gonna leave you what is and what should never be thank you I can't quit you baby dazed and confused your time is gonna come ramble on traveling riverside blues um, that's from the BBC sessions so it says here previously unreleased friends celebration day Hey, hey, what can I do? Previously unavailable on Al. Uh, White Summer, Black Mountain, Side, previously unreleased. Black Dog, Over the Hills and Far Away, Immigrant Song. Battle of Evermore, Bron, Yoror Stomp. Um, Tangerine, Going to California, Since I've Been Loving You, Dire Maker. Jamaica. <laughs> Gallows Pole, Custard Pie. Misty Mountain Hop, Rock and Roll, The Rain Song, Stairway to Heaven, Cashmere, Trammelled on the Foot, For Your Life, No Quarter, Dancing Days, When the Levee Breaks, Achilles, Last Stand. Uh, the song remains the same, Ten Years Gone, In My Time of Dying, In the Evening, Candy Store Rock, The Ocean, Ozone Baby, Houses of the Holy, Wearing and Tearing, Poor Tom, Nobody's Fault But Mine, Fool in the Rain, In the Light, The Wanton Song, Moby Dick, Bonzo's Montreux, uh, previously unreleased in this form. Yeah, Paige did a little bit of patch up and put drums to a pitch shifter and all that kind of stuff. Um, so it's Moby Dick um, put in with Bonzo's Montreux. I'm going to crawl all my love. So, um, yeah, this was a big deal at the time. Um, I had a CD. Came out in multiple formats, uh, double CD, four CD. Um, ooh, yeah, I book it. Um, looks quite dated now as well. You know the, the actual um, artwork and booklet looks like something almost from the late seventies. You never think of it from nineteen ninety. Um, yeah. But, um, some nice photos and stuff like that. It's a great one of Paige. Uh, yeah, he was Jimmy Page was cool. Um, you know when he was standing there with the uh, Les Paul hanging down, he inspired a whole generation of guitar players. Um, you know he was just the coolest, the coolest of them all. You know he knew he was cool. Um, yeah, so there you go. The um, discography there as well. Um, so yeah, this is um, nice. Uh, they did bring out um, Led Zeppelin as well, uh, the final tracks, and that was a two CD box set. But I don't think it ever came out on. Um, I don't think it ever came out on. Um, and vinyl would have been nice if it did. Definitely quite a collector's piece. Mother Ship came along. 
I was released, <laughs> came along. This is the um, 4LP box set. This is on Swan Song. Mm, this is really nice. Um, song quality is excellent as well. This is another compilation. Um, it's just got all their hits on it. There's nothing on this that isn't on the albums. Um, this is on the back of the box, I think. But yeah, this is nice. Um, the CD is even cool. I like the artwork. The artwork is great. Um, oh, look at all the guitars. Wow. Jimmy liked his Gibson Les Pauls, that's for sure. Um, they were mastering on this is excellent. There's uh, John Paul Jones with a big alembic bass guitar. Very, very nice. Yeah, very cool. Very, very cool. There's a different member on each um, on each sleeve. Very, very well done. Mm. If I must say, very, very well done. Um, yeah, this, 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 this isn't very expensive, um, and, and you know they haven't gone up in, in value. You can pick this up reasonably cheap. You know, um, that's so cool. The, um, the discs are actually very heavy. You know, they're they're heavyweight. They're thick. Um, they look great, and they, they sound fantastic. Um, you know, quarter pumping out of this is, is amazing. You know, I, I kind of forgot. I mean, it's on the shelf all the time. I forgot I had it. You know, I'm not sitting. Well, I didn't really forget I had it. I know I have it, but um, I'm glad I have it. <laughs> it's a nice thing to have. You know, I, I kind of appreciate having it. Um, yeah, there you go. Sticker that was on the cover. Remastering supervised by Jimmy Page. Half speed mastering for vinyl by Stan Ricker. So there you go. Saying a lot. And finally, the song remains the same. Uh, this is USA Press. Uh, so was the last one actually. Um, again, this came out in 2007. Um, super. Box set. Um, now this has extra tracks because uh, it also came out on CD around that time. Um, it has extra tracks. So you've got Rock and Roll, Celebration Day, Black Dog, Over the Hills and Far Away, uh, Misty Mountain Hop, Since I've Been Loving You, The Ocean, The Song Remains the Same, The Rain Song, No Quarter, Dazed and Confused Part 1, Dazed and Confused Part 2, Moby Dick, that split over um, one LP. One vinyl disc. Uh, Stay with the heaven. Um, heartbreaker. Whole lot of love. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a big one, alright. Any little booklet. I bought a CD when it came out as well. You know, they they bring out stuff and then it disappears. You know, I think the CD came first, I'm not sure um, uh, how old it is, but uh, it's, it's great to have it. Um, and they did a great job with the sound, because um, the original vinyl and CD really sounded a little bit it's dull. My album should sound amazing. Um, again, you know, you've got the each member's logo, symbol, symbol. Yeah, my logo. Yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, there you go. Very, very nicely done. Um, a feast for the eyes and a feast for the ears. Um, 
Ah, Swan Song. That's a heavy disc as well. Very, very heavy. I, I, you know, I don't think I even actually play this. I believe it. I just buy stuff, run out and buy it, and then even play it. I, I don't think I've ever even played this at all. You know? Um, I believe that. I believe it. <laughs> so, um, there you go. That's it. So, um, that's all I have to say on this matter. That's uh, Led Zeppelin. My collection on vinyl. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked the video, please feel free to subscribe. If not, don't bother. I won't be offended. I've got thick skin. And uh, thanks for watching and take care.